Hi guys, in this video I'm going to highlight my March doll haul and I think you can see I went a little bit crazy. This isn't even everything. There's actually, I think, five more dolls I got off of eBay, but they're going to have their own videos. So I'm just going to do a brief overview of my doll haul and also talk a little bit about Toys R Us because I did get a big chunk of these from a closing sale at Toys R Us. Toys R Us Inc. was originally founded in 1948. The company owns or licenses 810 stores in the United States and Puerto Rico alone. Unfortunately, it hasn't reported a profit in several years and in late 2017 declared bankruptcy. It has yet to find a buyer or a way to pay back its debt, so it's begun the process or at least the early steps of liquidation, which means lots of store closings which is what happened to the store near me. The big picture is how will this impact the big toy companies like Hasbro and Mattel, both of which reportedly make 10% of their overall sales through Toys R Us. Both companies reported losses this past quarter and there are a lot of rumors that Hasbro is interested in buying Mattel. It's unclear at this time how this can all impact the toy community. So first thing I'll point out is this first wave Briar Beauty doll that I got off of eBay. I got her back, she was obviously unboxed, cleaned her up a little bit, I already posted photos on my Instagram of that. And then I got this brand new Haunted Spectra doll. Um, she is, I believe, a reboot face sculpt, so I really wanted her. And I got those both for pretty good prices off of eBay. I got these really cute Barbie fashion packs. Um, and these are all Minions themed, and I got them from, I want to say, Walmart, I think. Yes, I got these from Walmart. I got this Barbie fashion pack, which I've been looking for for quite a while, from Target. I got this Happy Places set, which I usually don't look for for a full Happy Place set, uh, just because, I mean, I don't have that much space. This one is so freaking adorable. I had to get it. Definitely do its own unboxing video. It looks so adorable. And I either got this from Target or Walmart. I can't remember which. And now we'll focus on what I got from Toys R Us for 50% off for, for its store closing sale. I got these little Monster High Minis blind boxes. They were like a dollar a piece. Maybe it was like a dollar fifty or dollar ninety nine, something like that. I got this Monster High 2 pack. It is Draculaura and Twyla. It's the um, peanut butter and jelly set. It, it just looked really cute. I like the dolls. They look like they're fully articulated. I like their face sculpts. Just really cute and you know it was 50% off so. I got another Marvel fangirl doll. This is the last one that I really wanted but that I held off. And I will do an unboxing video for her, but again, she was 50% off. She was more than 50% off because I believe their original price was $79.99 and I think she was like, like $25. So that's definitely more than 50%. I also got four of these Project MC Square dolls. I really think these dolls are adorable and I've been looking for them to go on sale. The only ones I have I got from Tuesday morning at a discounted price so these were all 50% off as well. And finally I got this Shibajuku doll or Shibajuku girl I should say. It is a doll. Um, I am going to unbox this doll in this video. I got Yoko. She was again 50% off. I I think she was $14. And I have seen these dolls before and I've kind of always skipped over them because I wasn't in love with their face ups, how their face was painted. But then I saw this one and I love her little outfit. And then I took a closer look at her face and I did like how her face up was done. Um, on the back of the box, you can see the other characters Suki, Shizuka. Let's say Ko and maybe Miki or Mickey. And I saw her 
in the store. Actually, I think I saw all of these girls in the store. And I took a closer look at all of their faces and sh she was definitely my favorite. And I'm not convinced I'm gonna like this doll yet, so I just got that one. This doll is made by a company called Hunter Products in Australia. And she is made for ages three and up. She's pretty cute, so let's get her out of the packaging. So here she is out of the box and she does look pretty cute I have to say. She kind of has that pull up style of body where it's you know kind of like a 12 inch doll style body but then an oversized head. Uh, she came with these little accessories. She's got a little bat, hair clippy, a glittery pink skull, a blue and pink guitar and kind of a glittery pink moon with bat cutouts, I guess. Now they can be worn in her hair or, you know, a little girl's hair. Um, it's a cute detail, but it's just made of like felt. These probably aren't gonna last very long in the hands of a three-year-old. But I really like the doll itself. She has a very cute face. I love her big eyes. They're kind of like an inset eye. I don't know what it's made out of, plastic or something. She has eyelashes, really cute. What I liked about her as opposed to the other ones is her very light makeup. She's just got a little bit of pink and a little bit of glitter. A little pink lip and this adorable little hat, gray and black striped hat that matches her kind of jumper dress. Really cute with a little skull detail. The dress and the top are separate pieces. They both Velcro in the back talk about her hair. It's a little messed up from the packaging, but actually not in too bad shape. I'll take her hat off. Her hair is rooted, which I've heard people compare to these to pull-up dolls. Pull-ups wear wigs. It's not rooted hair. And I love her eyebrows. They're like a dark gray, I just noticed. Her hair is white and black striped. I don't know, I kind of like this doll. I think she's pretty cute. I like her style. I love her outfit. Her little black socks with white bat detail. And these little shoes, they're like black sneakers, high tops, that are still rubber banded to her feet. She does have movement at the neck, the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist, as well as the hips and knees. So, I mean, definitely worth the price I paid of $14, absolutely. I would say for anyone who likes just the aesthetic of the pull-up doll but doesn't want to pay the price of a pull-up doll because they can be quite expensive, this might be a more affordable option to try out. Mm -hmm.